All right, so in this third video here, we are going to be setting up proper handles for our rig. So this will be a continuation last time from our previous video. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to see how this is all hooked up. And we're going to select all and we're going to clear all parents but we're going to keep the transformation so now the rig is completely separate from the model and we are going to add a circle for our main controller I'm going to move this aside here, over in our property panels, I'm going to turn on the name, and we're going to name it controller. And that'll just stay there for right now. So we are going to select the eyedropper here in the bone properties and we're going to select that controller and as you can see the bone has turned into that circle. So we are going to need to resize this and reposition it. So over in the bone properties here you can see that we are repositioning this, we're translating the Y and Z, and we're going to scale down. I'm going to reposition this uh, right about there. So now we'll be doing this for the rest of the rig, mainly the, uh, the body and the feet. So we're going to select that ant body there. And using the eyedropper tool again, we're going to select the controller. And we're going to select both parts of the belly. And what we're doing right here is uh, setting the rotation to 90 degrees. And we'll do that again for the ant belly too. And now we are just going to resize and reposition. Be using the translate, rotation, and scale for three of these controllers here. And we're making sure these circles are a little bit bigger than the body itself so they're easy to select. Reposition that right there. And now we'll be adding controllers to the feet. So we are going to select that controller and we're going to duplicate that. And we're going to make sure we select the duplicate. We're going to do that for each foot. We're going to select that circle and we're going to go into edit mode because now whatever we do to that duplicate circle in edit mode it will configure 
those other circles to copy. So now we can resize this however we need to try to match the feet as best as possible. It even works on the rotation here. So we're going to try to flatten this as much as possible for those feet. these down. All right. So now we can uh, delete these circles for the time being. And as you can see, it didn't affect the circles that we previously changed the bones to. But let's undo that. So now, we'll make another circle. And we're gonna select that global control and we're gonna turn it into a circle there. And we're going to scale that up big. All right, and now we are officially done with those circles. We can delete them. And next, we'll be working on the knees. So we will be adding an icosphere. And let's turn down the subdivision. So selecting those knee uh, controllers there, we're going to use the eyedropper and turn them into icospheres. And we're going to do that for the left side of the uh, ant body here. We're going to rotate on 90 degrees. And then in edit mode for that main icosphere, we're going to scale down to make smaller, and we can delete it now. So now we can go to edit mode. And that right side of the ant body, we are going to delete all those bones. We're going to select everything on the left side. And we're going to go up to armature and we are going to symmetrize. So now when we go to pose mode, all of our controllers that we just made are now over on the other side. Everything looks good. The last thing we need to do is parent those eyes to the head bone. So we're going to select the eyes and then the head bone. We're going to parent to bone. <coughs> and now everything's moving properly. And now we're going to parent the body and legs to the rig with automatic weights. So now everything should be moving smoothly. We're going to play with each part here to make sure. And that just about covers it. Hope this was helpful.